Hello everyone, how are you doing? Uh, welcome to another Ask Ted's video. And uh, I'm just gonna let you guys know, I apologize for being inactive, it's just I've had a bit of a busy week with assessment tasks with school and such. And I'm just gonna let you know, it's not gonna get much better. I'm actually gonna be going on a bit of a road trip down to Melbourne this weekend uh, and seeing Arctic Monkeys live. So I might actually upload just a, you know, a quick little video of one of their songs or something maybe. Um, that might be a bit cool. If you guys want to see it, just let me know. Um, if any of you are actually going to see them live or have seen them live, just let me know. Like, that'd be cool to hear. But anyway, moving on to these questions for Ask Ted's. Here comes the first question. Here we go. Right. Um, well, this is uh, off, to a, off to a bit of a shaky start. All right, let's see the next one. Great. Uh, part here is asking, do you think if you're solo and make good content, will you get known? Or is it almost essential to get in a big clan to get known? Well, if you look at PewDiePie, you can see how many clans he's been in. That's right, none. So, you know, I really think that solo could be the way to go in most cases, but it definitely in the COD community, you know, I'm just taking the piss there, but definitely in the COD community, being in a clan does help. Um, I'd say a lot of people recognize me and probably uh, subscribe to me because of the clan I'm in, and because of the, you know, past history of clans that I've had. And, you know, I'm just going to fucking unplug my controller right there. That is just rude. Sorry, train going past on Express. Can't help it, whatever. Um, anyway... Yeah, being in a big clan does definitely help get, um, I guess you could say people noticing you. Um, but really, if you want to have a good reputation, you got to put in the effort and really you got to make yourself likable in terms of uploading good content or being good at trickshotting. Unfortunately, I have neither, but Catbird asks, what's your secret in getting dummies because I can't get shit? Rasta asks, how do you feel about Genesis setting up in World at War? Now, this is something that really grinds my gears. Uh, but to be honest, I really couldn't give a shit because I know a lot of the people setting up in World at War really won't get anywhere past where they currently are. And to be honest, it's it just annoys me seeing Genesis do that. But I really, if people want to set up in World at War, that's really their own choice. They're going to get not very far from it, so whatever. Cherbin asks, if my favorite color is red, what would my favorite color be? Kami asks, would you rather hit a bill every day for the rest of your life or marry at L7 Unlucky? I've already proposed to Unlucky, uh, you know, we're getting married next weekend if you guys want to come around to it. It's going to be on MW2 in uh, Free For All on Favela. You guys could maybe come along to it, it's going to be a whole ceremony, everything, it's going to be beautiful. L7 Jets asks, how did you get the name Ted's? Well, it stems back to the uh, ancient Roman times where I decided to come up with a PSN name for my first gamer tag. Um, so I got two household objects, uh, a blank piece of paper and a teddy bear, mashed them all together and I came out with Blank Teddy. That was my original PSN. Not sure if I've said this before, but anyway, I don't mind repeating myself. Uh, then, yeah, shorten it to Teddy and eventually Ted's. Gecko asks, World at War compared to Black Ops 2? Touch and destroy. Enjoy, potato or potato. You know what? Whatever fucking floats your boat. Hashtag Austin Pomage. Has playing Xbox and being in the community doing some awesome friendships that you would have never have made in real life? Uh, and some definitely some of the people that I've met over Xbox, um, I guess you could say worthwhile people and good friends, you could say. I have no words for this whatsoever. Do you like mangoes? If not, please state why, and if you do, please tell me why. Well, I love mangoes. Uh, I used to live in California, as a few of you have known, uh, and at these soccer games and shit that I usually went along with because I was dragged along by my mum because my brother used to play soccer. Um, well, he still plays soccer, but as a child, I was dragged along to these, you know, football fucking festivals and shit. And there were always these Mexicans going around selling mangoes with, like, these spices and shit, and they were on a stick. Mangoes on a stick, like, can you imagine that? That's just completely fucked. To some, that's a foreign concept. I'm still trying to comprehend, uh, how that even fucking came about, but, right, there were mangoes on a stick, and they were just the most delicious thing you could ever just... This mango was perfection. And I'm pretty sure they didn't sell them for very expensive prices either. That's why I love mangoes. Would you let me snort some gamma out of your belly? Alright, you know what? I'm just going to stop this right here. Thank you all for submitting questions. If you want to submit a question for next week, please leave a comment down below. Anyways, I'm out. See yous.